Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec, and this week I'm joining the Punched Out Thursday to Die For gang. We share ideas every Thursday on what to do with your punches and your dies. I'm going to put links to Ronnie's, Kathy's, and Krista's channels below, so be sure to check them out because those ladies are super talented. And here's what I'm going to be using. I have papers, punches, and coordinating stamps, and that's all from Stampin' Up's Gilded Autumn collection. And I also pulled some tools from my stash. So I have Alpha dies from Alt New. I have those label dies, really old from Stampin' Up, and I also have the Creative Memories Border Maker System, and I'll list all the tools I'm using in the description box below. So I'm just showing you that magazine, Scrapbooking Cards Today. It's the Summer 2020 edition, and my jumping off point was a card that was on page 26. The creator was Mindy Egg, and it's super simple, but super, super beautiful. Basically, I got the inspiration for my foundation page from her card base and that's what I'm making right now so I took that beige paper there's little speckles on it it's part of that paper pack from that gilded autumn collection and I punched the border along two sides and then I trimmed it down so you can see how I'm going here I've got a large part on the top and just a small bit on the bottom and then I trimmed down that striped paper just enough to peek behind underneath and as you can see I'm covering up a piece of yellow cardstock I just selected a piece of paper that I knew I wouldn't use because I'm going to cover it all up so I'm adhering all of this together and as you can see I also cut down a piece of brown cardstock and that's basically going to be a border where I will be placing my photos. Um, I am putting measurements for everything I'm doing on the screen and the only thing I did in advance for this layout was mat my photos and when I adhere them to the page in a minute you are going to notice I layered each photo with the mat with three layers of scrap cardstock just to raise them up a little bit off the page I did that instead of using foam adhesive so now that my foundation page is in place I'm going to establish a spot for my title as well as my text now as you can see my letters I cut them out in advance with my big shot I use those alt new letter dies and I cut them out in three different colors basically I was inspired by the stripes in that paper and I adhered it to wax paper and now what you see me doing is cutting out two of those labels and I'm going to layer them up so the vanilla colored one will be on top and that's going to be where I do my journaling. So what you see me doing now is just getting out an Echo Park or Cartabella I think stencil and I'm simply going to use a sponge brayer and add some journaling lines on top of that. So I'm putting it in place with some painter's tape and basically I lined up the lines with some of the indentations in that label just to get me going straight with that brayer and that's that. So I'm going to adhere those two together and then I'm going to just cut off a bit because I do know I want it peeking out from underneath that photo border but I'm not sure at this point where exactly I'm going to place it. I'm thinking I'm either going to have the title and journaling straight up and down or on a diagonal and I end up going on a diagonal. So what I did was I cleaned off my desk here and I got out all my coordinating inks. They all go with the paper that you see on my page and I have that stamp set out with the coordinating punches. So what I'm doing now is I just stamped out an acorn, the outline of an acorn, and you're going to see me come in with two other stamps. So I'm stamping the bottom part of the acorn in one color, that's crumb cake, and the top part I already stamped it out in Cajun craze, just a different color. So as you can see, it gives me three colors on this. I'm going to do it to some leaves as well. I have two different leaves with this collection. I have a maple leaf as well as an oak leaf. And when I do the leaves, you're going to notice I do the same thing. I stamp out the outline in that dark brown, but then I come in with a different color. It's that orangey Cajun craze 
but what I'm going to do is stamp twice. So it's going to give me two different colored leaves. So I have that darker orange and then I have kind of a faded orange. So I do that. Then I'm going to stop my camera and I'm going to keep on doing some. So as you can see, I punched some out and now I'm continuing. So these are really tiny and they're super, super cute. Anyway, so I'm going to have all of these little pieces that I will be creating embellishment clusters with a bit later on. But what I'm going to do now before I create my embellishment clusters is adhere my journaling box as well as my title. So that's what you're going to see me do right now. Um, those letters there, I absolutely love them. It's a collection by Alt New. I will list it in the description box below, but it was very inexpensive. Well, I don't know. For me in Canada, it was about $21 or $22, I think. And they cut really, really well, but I find them super, super versatile simply because they're small enough that you can make a big title, yet the letters are big enough to have an impact on the page. Anyway, I highly recommend them. So now what I'm going to do is start building these embellishment clusters. And all I do is I start with the acorns. I put some on foam adhesive. Others are flat to the page. And then I simply start tucking in the different leaves around it. That's it. I'm going to do one on the right side of that journaling box. And then I'm going to do one at the end of the title and that's it and honestly when I was gathering tools to create this layout I had to stop myself because I have some beautiful leaves and I had them all out but I had to remind myself why I was attracted to that card that I saw in Scrapbook and Cards magazine in the first place and it was because of its simplicity. The card that inspired me simply had the card base that you see on my foundation page which is those two pieces of paper with an border punch along the edges and a printed paper behind and all it had was one simple stamped sentiment and that was it and I absolutely loved it. So that is why I restricted myself to very few embellishments here. So what I'm saying is you can do this page with just a border punch. It was so, so easy. What you see me doing here is preparing to stamp a beautiful day at the bottom of the page. Now that stamp set is meant for cards and it says have a beautiful day and I didn't want the word have there. So what I did was I covered up the word have with washi tape. I put ink on it. I removed the washi tape and then I stamped on the page. What you saw me do before that was draw a penciled line which is now erased just to keep me straight. Anyway, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to Scrapbooking Quebec if you haven't already. And make sure you check out the other ladies. Their links are in the description box below. Have a great day. Bye-bye.